Hey guys, what's going on? So we got an 03 Toyota Highlander in the shop today and we're getting ready to do the struts and we'll show you what's involved in putting them in. All right, so we're gonna change the struts on this uh, 2003 Highlander. We've got a 12 millimeter bolt here for the brake line and for the ABS line. We're gonna take that off. We're gonna work that because we don't want it to break. Uh, the new strut comes with the new bracket so we just have to put a new bolt, but we're gonna try and save it. We got a 17 millimeter for the stabilizer link here. And normally you have to heat these to get them off. There's a little Allen head that's in here, but it's this is original, it's kind of crusty. So we're just gonna choose to heat it and we'll clamp the inside with some uh, needle nose vice grips and zip it off. And we got two seven eighths bolts here. On the top of the strut on the mount, there's three 14 millimeter nuts that we're gonna take off. We loosened up two of them, so it's kind of just hanging with one right now. So we're gonna start taking this all apart. And then the last thing we'll do is we'll, we'll take the top 14 millimeter nut off and we can feed the strut out. So we're going to start taking, we have a clip here, so we can slide this clip off right here. And get this off and we're going to get a 12 millimeter socket set up on this and get this thing to crack loose. We soaked everything with penetrating oil before we started. And this is a job you can do in your driveway. You can get up on jack stands. And we just put a, when we go to pull the strut out, we had a, uh, a little bit of a uh, pry bar underneath the control arm so that we can dictate to line up the bolts, these big bolts to go back in. So, all right, so we get this off, take this out, move this line off to the side here. And just gonna kind of just leave this floating here. And uh, this will stay out of our way. And let's get these seven eighths. Uh, actually, we'll do the this one for us. So we're gonna we're gonna heat this thing up. And we got some vice grips that we're gonna clamp on the inside here, and uh, we'll clamp these down. And we're just gonna heat this nut up. Now these links are pretty re uh, inexpensive, and you know if you're doing it, you probably could get a new set of links on it. We're gonna leave this one. If we get any type of rattle with this afterwards, we'll, we'll you know, replace the links, but we're choosing to leave them right now. So we're gonna heat this up and then zip this off. And it's a 17 millimeter, but it seems like it swells up a little bit. We end up using an 18 on it. So we're gonna try it and see, see what we got. don't get it on the first try, we might have to put another pair of ice grips on the back side, a larger pair, but this will probably hold it. We'll try and get the Allen wrench in there and take it off with a Allen wrench and a ratchet and an a, and a, uh, open end wrench on, a box end wrench. It, it's just, it's pretty slow moving, so. Probably metric, but the seven eight fits right on, so we're going to go with that. And uh, we're on the nut side on this. One. It's coming off there. You gotta knock one of these bolts out. These are coming out pretty good. We're gonna never seize all this up before we put it back in. And you can grab the rotor and get a little bit of play out of this thing. And uh, 
push on the strut to get the bolt to come out. And I can pull the rotor back and it's going to pop out of the strut. Okay, now the strut is loose and we're going to feed this, now be careful, this is hot, so we're going to feed this out over on this driver's side, on the back side. Because this is how we're going to take it out. We're going to lower the car down, we're going to get that last 14 millimeter nut, and then we can feed the strut out of here. So on the top side, we've got our mount here with three, with three studs here, and they're all 14s. And I'm going to crack these all loose. Replacements of 15, the originals of 14. So we're going to crack them loose. And we can zip them off with the speed gun. I'm probably going to leave this one to last. And the replacement strut that we bought. The nuts are 15s, so we got our socket here already for that one. Let's take these off and set them up on the post here. We're not going to reuse these, we got new ones. And we're going to catch this right down to the end here. Now I can lift up on the strut from the inside here. Hold it up while I take this off. And over here, we're going to just feed the strut out. And this thing is out. We're going to match it up that there's uh, a left and a right for this thing. So if we lay it on the ground here, you've got a the sides are lined up with the brackets and the hole. So we're good. And these are the new nuts. And this is a stick of telling you not to take, not to take this nut off. And we got these are all 15s, these new ones. And we're gonna feed this thing up into the hole and catch a couple of them. And I'm gonna change my socket over on my gun right now to the 15, so when I get in there, I can catch this and then zip them all down evenly. So we got our 15 millimeter on here. Just gonna run these down evenly. And it'll start sucking up. We're gonna go back and half inch ratchet. Up. Make sure they're all tight after. I'm not gonna tighten much more, but we'll double check them. Alright, let's get the uh Get the strut back in place now, put it back up. Some Nevin seeds on the bolts, right, Steve? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we pushed our rotor back in place in here so that it's in the sprocket now, um, in the bottom of the thing. We're going to put a pry bar underneath the control arm 
to try and pull it down to get the, the bolt to line up in. And, uh, get a bigger bob at this small one do it for it. Then we just want to push in on this. Get that to line up and try and get one of the bolts to line up here. This one out with the hammer first. Okay, this thing has a couple of little kits on this that clamp into these holes over here. So we can lock that in in just a second. on this has paint inside the threads so what I like to do is um, we've got our extension here put a little got our, our bolt before I line the clips up on this I just want to get this bolt started and kind of clean those threads up so that I know because it doesn't it doesn't start it, you got to find the, the threads on it so I want to tighten this down and then find the angle of the extension of where I'm going with it. I don't want to strip this and have to deal with it. So I'm going to run the, the bolt down right now, clean out the, the paint on it. And now I, I can tell where my extension is because once I get the two brackets on it, it kind of kind of makes it a little hot. So I'm, I'm kind of coming down on an angle with it so I know where I'm going. And we got this 
locking clip that has to go into the hole here first, this end of it here, and it pushes through the hole here. And I kind of got to get it down below the strut when I put this thing on. There it is. Okay. That lines up. And then this little groove right here lines up in the groove there. And now I know my extension is kind of got to be on an angle coming down to get this thing to start. Kind of like that. And I can start it and it's already caught. If you try and do it without removing the paint, it's, you, you may cross thread it. it. It takes a minute, but it's worth it. And, you know, once we tighten this up, the only thing we got to do is go upstairs and tighten that. Um, the four 15 millimeter bolts, we're going to put the half inch ratchet on, just give it a little snug. It's pretty close. But there ain't a lot to do on this. The two seven eights that we have for here with the wrench in the socket, the 12 millimeter here, and this is the 17. And if you're going to do this at home and you don't have um, any torches or anything, you may have to, you know, cut this off, um, you know, with the sawzall or something. And these links are fairly inexpensive too. So um, if you can get it off the way we did, a little little burns, a little butane torch may, uh, propane torch may do it. But, uh, that, that's it for the strut. It's pretty simple and that's why I call them quick struts. And it's going to be the same exact procedure to, to, uh, to do the other side. All right, so we got our 2003 Highland and we're doing rear strut replacements. And we got 13 mil, uh, there's three quarter bolts here, two of them. And then we have a um, 14 millimeter here and we have a 10 millimeter here. And there's a brake line that comes up the back with a 12 millimeter. We got everything sprayed with lubricant. And this is a little tab that's held on it. I have to hold on to onto this with some vice grips and then get this thing to crack loose. Otherwise the tab felt like it was gonna just break right off on me. So I'll take this one out. You got a 12 millimeter socket on an extension come up from the back side for the brake line and you kind of got to wobble the thing on here it's in a kind of a tough spot get it on well, we sprayed everything with penetrating oil and i don't want to really put a zip gun on this thing i'm gonna just take my time taking it off so it doesn't snap off We're gonna never see these, of course, all our bolts when we put them back in. And we'll run them up into place. stabilizer link here that's on and it is of course you're not going to get it off when you heat it or for replacement we got a 14 millimeter that fits on there we're going to grab the back side with ice grips and we're going to heat this thing up and get it off all right let's get this set up to heat up Up and then we'll hit it with the gun and get it off. It's got a little Allen wrench inside it. You never have any luck taking them off like that. This thing's got some mileage on it, so. Three quarter bolts to take off. 
And on the inside of the truck, we'll show you, there's a couple of plastic compartment covers we took off to access the top strut bolts. The bolts come from the back side. It probably doesn't make much of a difference, but we'll put them in the same way. just stuck to that. I'm going to tuck this behind here because we want to get the strut to come out this way. So the, in the back side we have the brake line here that took off. Get that off the bracket because we already took the bolt out and we're just going to feed the strut out to this side. So we're going to lower the truck down and we're going to come up top and take the bolts out from the top. We'll take the cover and show you that and then we'll feed the strut out this way. All right, so you got this cover that just unclips from here. You just pull it up, pops off. And there's three 12 millimeter bolts in here. And you got to come down through this. We cracked them loose and we're going to hit them with the zip gun to get them out. And we'll leave this last one in pretty much right to the end. And you're going to need a friend to help you catch the nut here because... You can't access it when you're pushing the strut up in the hole. Someone's going to have to catch the bolt for you. The nut for you, excuse me. And just feed these up so you don't drop them. And they get new ones with the struts. I left that last one on and it's finger tight. So I'm gonna get on and push up on the strut. And actually our customer Mike is gonna be taking the nut off to get this thing off. Isn't so, that right, Mike? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> he's a lighting, so, he's a lighting production. All right, so here's the socket and you can use to twist it off. And I'm gonna go get that strut out. I'll lift up on it, take the bolt off yep. and then we'll feed it down. All right, take it off. Drop. Okay, so we'll feed this thing out, making sure we don't catch out wires. And we're gonna match this up with the other new strut to make sure that everything's the same. Brackets are in the same spot over here and here. So we got the right one. All right, we're going to go feed this up back up in place and here's the pack of new nuts. Okay, so you got, it's going to go up in this position here. So you're just trying to line one hole up and get past all of this stuff without catching it. And once you push it through, it'll kind of find its way. So I'm, t I'm going for the stud closest to me. Okay, you got one caught, Mike? It sounds like he dropped one, but I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, got one more there. Okay. All right, let's go see what Mike did to us. <laughs> What'd you do now? <laughs> The man behind the mess. 
right, where's the other one? All right, so we got another one here. And these are larger, so these are 13s. And we'll uh, put our finger up here, guide that down. All right, so we're gonna tighten these up now. We're not gonna lie, we didn't find it. We fished for it enough, so the same, uh, the old nut was the same thread, so we got it on there, and we're gonna, uh, let's get the, this side back together now. All right, so we're gonna line this back up, push it into place, and uh, we're gonna have to push down on the suspension a little bit, pry by here. Try and just sit this bolt in here a little bit, but I haven't never seized it yet, so still gonna get down more. Let's get these all never seized now. There's no cam on these, they just fit. They, they fit right in as far as there's no adjustment the camber on this thing at all. So um, we'll pry down on the leaf spring here, try and get one of these lined up. Now the bolts come the other way, but I'm just trying to catch this to, it's gonna come down more. Now this other one we have to try and run in here too. So I'm gonna line up the bottom one and I could get it to go in the other way, but I, I wanna get it to go in the right way. So we're gonna just run this bolt in. For now. And we're gonna tighten this top one and then we can just switch the bolt around. It came out this way. We're gonna put them back in the same way. shouldn't move we should be able to just get this bolt to come in the other way and it probably doesn't make a difference but that's the way I took it out that's kind of the way I want to put it back in Start threading it in a little bit. All right, catch the nut on the other side, and we'll draw it in. It's got a little more, huh? Thank you. 
these up. Okay. Now we've got our 12 millimeter bolt that's in the back here. We're going to put some nevices on the 10 and the 12, the little ones we got here. And we're going to thread down into the back of that hole for the bracket for the brake line for the flex holes. And we're going to want to try and start it first because there's a little bit of paint on the line. So I want to get this to thread in here and make sure it starts. And I can run it up with the little impact gun. Get an extension. Threads right out for us. Now we're gonna put our brake line on it. It goes tucks down underneath like this. And we want to catch that screw. And we've already got our, our threads. We know it's gonna thread in good. I can hit it with the little gun. Now we got the brake line. Um, all right, good. We've got our brake line stuck on the other side of our ABS line. Pop that off. Swing this line around here. That line right there has to come around. Sit like that. Right, let's line our brake line back up. Get that back underneath there. And we drop that bolt somewhere. Right there. Watch your head. Okay. Right. That card again. Just snug this up. That's it for that. We got these tight, we got that tight, we gotta put our our uh, stabilized link back on. We're gonna never seize that. Left our vice grips right on it, so we just hold them and zip it with the gun. We've got our bolts up top tight. We'll uh, recheck the ones up top, um, which are the 13s, the new 13s. And we've got everything done down here. The other side is going to be the same exact procedure. And the only thing we have to really do is heat to stabilize the link to get it off. The rest of it came apart really well. And you're going to need someone to help you to catch the, the nuts on the top because you can't reach over. Um, and uh, I suppose you could, you, re you really need to get that caught first. It's not like you can put this together and then lower the car down and feed it in there. It'd be a pain in the ass. So uh, 
And these are quick struts and uh, it went together well. Thanks.